Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, Monday through Thursday. Yes, I am late, and I apologize for that. But we will get through today, and we will then hopefully get back on track. Anyway, you know that I am using my Radley Valentine deck, my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading. I will pull one from my Guardian Angel cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, that will be when we start the readings. This is just the introduction, which will be attached to all readings. I will put the timestamp down uh, in the description so you can just bypass this, but I hope you watch this at least once, okay? So for the introduction, we will use my Rider Waite tarot cards, and we're going to use Osha Zen tarot cards. Now, um, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Please take a moment to like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. We have reached 25,000 subscribers. We do need to start watching the videos, though. So as the subscribers start rising, um, the video viewing has been going down. Sorry about that. I don't know what to, else to tell you or to do. But um, if we can, I do believe I have been told that sometimes my videos aren't shown or do not pop up as being, you know, as being new videos. I do post twice a week, so just know that. Anyway, still got some stuff going on. Um, there's still some things. I'm just going to go through those, uh, those dates. We do have a, okay, the 14th, which is also Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. Mercury does enter back into Aquarius. So there should be truth and communication coming out. Remember, um, you know, that's, I know I talk about it all the time to that, but Saturn in Aquarius is um, illusion versus reality. I do feel Aquarius brings a very strong reality, brings very strong truthful message. Mercury, the, the god, the um, planet of communication is going into Aquarius. Now that will be at 4.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, we do have our full moon. That will be February 16th. That will be 11.56 a.m. So what will that be? 14, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That should be Wednesday, right? So Wednesday morning. Um, interesting energy. That will be in Leo. Now, with the full moon, the full moon is a wonderful time to Release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need anymore, and request the good stuff. So release, relinquish, request. Very positive energy. But the other thing about it, especially with what's going on right now, is you have to remember, you have to, you, it, it's good if you remember, Leo is ruled by the sun. So we have the sun energy, we have the moon energy. You know, all of this, There, there's both of these energies with the earth kind of, it's not an eclipse. But the Earth's somewhere in the middle of all of that. So the Sun does a lot of revealing again. So with that, with Mercury and with the Sun, it could be a very strong, forthright type of energy. Being in Leo, I am also getting this, um, these messages that we need to, you know, we need to pull out that, um, you know, what do we want to say, that inner lion. You know, this, may, this is a time for us to roar. This is a time for us to be strong. Now, remember, full moon to new moon, waning, that's when we start releasing. New moon to full moon, waxing, that's when we request. But the full moon, again, release, relinquish, and request. Now, again, too, though, I, I really got a lot, of, a lot of messages during the night. It was like, whoa, um, about the lion roaring, just being very strong. We are still in some sort of a 2-2 portal. You know, many are saying it's from 2, February 2nd to February 22nd, you know, because we have all that two energies and there's this portal. I have, been fa uh, I have been posting a lot on Facebook. I know a lot of you don't like to go on Facebook. I'm sorry. It's just that what I tried to do it on Instagram or, you know, it just doesn't always, the, the memes and the articles don't always translate well. So I've been, I have been concentrating more with Facebook. So if you want to know, there's a lot of ascension energy going on. There's a lot of stretching energy going on. A lot of things going on. Now, on the 18th, Pisces season begins. That will be at 1143 a.m. So we have been, you know, 
during, again, you know, I get a lot of these downloads and a lot of the messages, you know, as I'm sleeping or I'm, I'm, as I'm between that uh, sleep and wake state. And it really, really was, it came to me that the world in itself, I'm not talking universal energy, I'm not talking higher power energy, but the world itself, it was as if the world was either facing a nervous breakdown or a major a major breakthrough type of energy right now. So I'm going to say maybe a little bit of both somewhere in between. I think that Leo full moon is again one of those times where we need to shine, shine bright. We need to pull up that inner lion. We need to, and again, I've, I've told you this, that when, you know, we come together for a reason, because there's, you know, not a lot of people, not everybody comes to this channel, but the ones that do, we come together for a reason. And when I say stay shining, that's because we all bring our shining light together and burn brighter. Okay, so 18th February, Pisces begins. I talked about, and I've told you about the 20th of February with Pluto and Capricorn being at that exact time. Um, you know, that the, the last time it was here in this in this chart um, was back on July 4th, 1776, which the United States people in people in America know as the Declaration of Independence. And then and then I'll finish and we'll go into our readings. But um, and then there was something going on with Neptune in Pisces. Now, Neptune in Pisces is a very mysterious energy, very you know, very deep the sea type of energy. So I still have to look into this more. Also, also something with Venus finishing up a pentagram, but we're going to, that's something else that's going on. Huh. Um, so there's a lot of things. Um, okay, so on the 22nd of February, I know I'm kind of going all over, I'm sorry, but uh, so much, ha it's like I keep, whoo. Um, 22nd of February, Neptune will be 22 degrees, which it has not been for over 200 years. I don't really have the time of when that was, but again, all of this changing energy, all of this older energy is, I shouldn't say older, all of this energy that we have gone through is cycling back right now, okay? So there's a lot of things going on. The planets are all direct. Um, you know, I, I'll talk about like the moon and when it goes into different, you know, Mercury going back into Aquarius. The planets are all direct, but they're doing things. They're not just, they're not just doing their little, okay, we're all direct. Mars and Venus connected on the 12th. So there is a lot of things still going on in the skies. There's a lot of things going on um, in the heavenlies and we are being affected by it. We all know this. We all know this. Even people that don't follow, even just, you know, just people that don't even believe. There's something in the air. There's something in the air. So let's keep our light bright. Let's keep our light shining, okay? Let's keep all of our little flames, and then together we become something that much brighter. Okay, let's go on and see. So, yeah, there's no <laughs> there's no editing with this. I'm, I just put it out there and... Like I said, oh, I didn't say this. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message. And those were some of the things that really came. And I think that's why, I think that's why I was not allowed to post before because there was a lot of things, a lot of messages that I believe that higher power wanted to have shared. Okay, so let's see what we have going with Weight Rider. Now, Remember last week, or for the weekend, we did have that tower card. So, we're, you know, there's a lot of things happening in the world. You know, I, I likened it to the rug being pulled out. So let's see what we have going on for the week in itself. Okay, and let's straighten that out. <laughs> I'm a little crooked. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Remember, anything that's reversed has stronger energies. The lovers. The lovers. So remember I said about Mercury and Venus, you know, connecting, you know, conjoining. Um, maybe they were conjuncting. They were, but that was on the 12th. And that is a lot of, they love each other. They, they really, they're, they're good together. So now we have the lovers. We have that lovers. And I think we even had that in the, um, in the weekend reading. Not sure. Not sure, but we have that six. Six has the number of man. It's the energies we put into something. The lovers does have a lot of healing. 
um, does have a lot of, um, I don't know, I'm kind of getting some unrequited love here, though. I'm kind of getting, you know, remember we talk about the man looking at the woman, the woman looking at the divine, the divine looking at them both with their, you know, with hands over both of them. So, you know, I'm kind of, I'm not quite sure what's going on with the lovers, with what's going on with those relationships. I do know that Venus does have a very strong energy for this year, for the two, for the 222. So, you know, Venus is very, very strong. So there is that energy, that love. Now, the lovers also brings about healing. Now, it's not always easy. It's not like a snap. And, you know, healing can be very painful because, you know, my, my analogy is, if you've ever been through physical therapy, you know healing can hurt. So, but we do have the lovers. Now, you know, so it, it, there is something, it could go either way, especially between the, um, between the couple. Okay, next card is we have the emperor. Now, the emperor is a four. Four has some stability. Four has some organization leadership. Um, the emperor does remind me, does have some, um, of the masculine divine energy. The emperor does have a very strong ruling energy. Um, you know, so the, you know, it, now we do have a little bit, um, hmm, we do have these, would these be the ram's heads? So something with the ram's energy going on, you know, but at the same time ruling over the ram's. I'm not quite sure what that's about with that. But the emperor could have that very strong government energy at the same time, not the hierophant energy, the, you know, you know how I feel about that. But there is a divine energy going on right now, and it's not necess it's not necessarily of the world. It's more of the universe. Okay, let's see our last card here, the Ace of Pentacles, and I like this one for this because the Ace is a one energy, new beginning, new start. Um, the Pentacles is our Earth energy. It is our money energy. It is our Capricorn energy, which a lot of Capricorn. Taurus energy, there's still some Taurus energy. Also Virgo, money, job, career. New, so what something could be happening with new money, new, there could be some healing, there could be some healing in relationships, there could be a new relationship. I do feel a little inequity here though, I, and I don't know, or unrequited energy here. But again, the emperor does have a very ruling energy, but to me it does have a very divine energy, very, so there is something going on, there is higher powers hand going on. We may not always understand it. And then the Ace of Pentacles is usually about new jobs, new new ways to create money, new opportunities for money. So I do like that. With I do like that part. These two are kind of um, like what, you know, what's going on with the um, universe, what's going on with the higher power. Not quite sure with that. You can see... Um, you know, I have these little Y ends and Ys, and if I was to ask yes, no questions, you know, I'd use these to, you know, this is kind of a maybe, that, and that's where I'm getting that, I'm getting that energy that's just not quite settled in yet, People, you know, it's just, eh, but this is a very strong yes energy, so, um, you know, this is a very, you know, I get the emperor as a very positive energy. Okay, let's go on, let's do... My Osha Zen Tarot, we haven't used this for a while. Usually I use Osha Zen Tarot for words of advice. We may still have that. Let's see what we've got going on. And here we are. We're just going to pull one. Yes, we do the same thing and just pull one. Here we go. Okay, so now that is, repre that is reversed. So we have a 10, we have a 1, 0. 10 is transitional energy. 1 is, again, that new beginnings, new start. 0 is God source energy, suppression. Now, is this something that says that this week we, there will be some suppression, there, that there will be some things that we feel like we need to break free of? It could be that, it could, but it could also be that um, the suppression could be lifting, the suppression could be ending. But this is about suppression. This is about, um, you know, um, feeling or feeling at least that there is something that's holding us back. But again, too, the fact that it's on the emperor, maybe we just have to wait a little bit longer or maybe we are ready to break free. Like I said, 
the, it was really clear. I was like, oh, please, don't, can I just sleep? But it was very clear. It's like the world is either feeling like it's going through a nervous breakdown or it's going to go through a really big breakthrough. The suppression card, I'm going to go with the breakthrough. Uh, it all depends on how you want to um, you want to carry it, how you want to, you know, feel about this. You know, we, you know, I always tell you there is always hope. And I feel like actually in many ways, in many ways, even though it's not necessarily easy, we need to hold on and we need to believe, especially, you know, in our situations, because this is also a divine um, gifting, okay? But in our situation, there is always hope hope for us okay so hold on to the hope again you know this is part of this is to stay shining and just know that we will persevere through all of this okay okay why don't we start our readings now and hello to my leos this is your full moon coming up and yeah i'm getting really you know in between when i'm getting ready to do the next set of cards the next sign i you know i pray meditate and just kind of ask any messages and my, your messages yeah you're going to need to step up and you're going to need to lead so you're going to need to show how it's done oh five of aerial fives to have change energy positive negative aerial is our Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, money, job, career. Oh, my, oh, here we go, another one. Okay, seven. Okay, anyway, the five of Ariel is being a little bit of, is having some worry, is having some concerns, having some, you know, do I have what it need, what I need? Do I, you know, do, again, I said, you're going to have to lead. You're going to have to step up. And the five of Ariel is kind of like, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's just too much. It's just too much. I am tired. It's too much. Also, the five of Ariel does have a little money concern, does have a little like, you know, what do you want me to do with this money? You know, what do you want me to do? How am I supposed to get this done? I'm get, really getting kind of an ignig, ign, indignant type of energy with the five of Ariel. It's like, how do you want me to do this? What do you want me to do? I haven't I done enough? So I don't know what who or what that's for. It's just, it's very interesting energy. So five, it does, is about change, positive, negative. Either way, change will happen, okay? Change is about change. Okay, so five of Ariel, it is reversed. This tells you, you don't have to go through this alone. You don't have to go through this alone. There's other people around you that will support you, that will actually want your leadership, will want you to step up. OK, they're going to want you to help them. They're going to want you, whatever, or whoever, the, whatever this is all about. But it's also talking about your spiritual connection with your higher power, with higher power, with source energy, kind of like saying, I can't do this. So there is this connection, even though this is a minor arcana, um, you know, this is still saying connect with your higher power. Use your moon energy. OK, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecy. So if you believe you can't, you can't. So even though it may seem difficult, even though things may be challenging, if you believe you can, you can. Okay? So keep putting that out there, my Leos. So yeah, the moon, I'm not saying that this moon energy is going to be very, very easy to be around, even for Leos. It's going to be very igniting. It's going to ignite that, like I said, ignite your leadership energy here. Okay? Now, we have that seven of Ariel. So set Ariel, again, same energies, earth energies. Seven is our divine energy. Uh, it's a divine number, perfect number, you know, divine interference, divine intervention energy. The seven of Ariel says you've been prepared for this time. You've been prepared for this moment. You have what it takes. You have that leadership energy. You've just been kind of lazy. So now it's being pulled out and it's really coming to that forefront. You don't really have to do so much except to connect with your higher, with higher power and just say, okay, what is it that you want me to do? What is it that you want me to do? So you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Wait, just wait. Just say, okay, fine, wait. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So things, there's, a, there's and again, even though these are minor arcana, these are very strong. You have been ready. You've been prepared for this moment, for this week, for this moon. 
we'll see where we're going. Now, could this is be about your job, your career, your money? Oh, definitely it could be, but it could also be about your home, your life in itself, okay? Because the, the earth energy is extremely tangible. It is what, it is the physical as opposed to the metaphysical. Last card, now this one's the unknown. Let's see what this, ah, decision. So, interesting with this one because, so we have decision. We have a 15, 5, 5, 5. Change, change, change. One plus five, six. Six, number of man, what you put into it, the energies you put into something. Ten plus five, ten's transition, one new beginning, zero God source energy. Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel has a lot of creativity. Jophiel does have a lot of beauty. It is, Jophiel does have a lot of feminine divine energy too. Now, the decision card is that devil card, okay? It's that one where we feel our fears. We face our ego. You know, this is, our ego says, no, I don't want to be, I don't want to go, you know, I don't want to be put in a position where I can fail. I don't necessarily want to face my failures. I don't want to be afraid. Also, I'd rather stay here. So this is, this, is, this is that type of energy. This is also a release, relinquish energy here. And that's a good time for you to do this, especially around your full moon, okay? But this is facing your fears. This is facing what it is that you thought that kept holding you back. This is you coming to grips with what has been, what, what's been holding on. Also, I feel like this has also has a lot of you facing that darkness, that shadow in your own life, okay? So, so even though, even though these are minors, these, this is a major, you've got, this is again, um, your, you know, decision, your choice. What are you going to do, my Leos? This is saying you are ready and things, you know, you are ready. You can do this. And again, that leadership energy, that taking charge, whatever I said in the beginning, you know, this is, what are you going to do this week? Anyway, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. You've got more, you've got more than you know to work with, my Leos. You are stronger than you think, okay? So yeah, is this going to be a challenge? Oh, of course, Leos, you never, you're never not challenged. You're never not challenged, you know that? It's like, oh. So let's see what guardian angels have to do or have to say about all of this too. And remember, releasing, relinquishing, re release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need, request the good stuff. And, you know, full moon to new moon, release new moon to full moon request. But you can start doing all the releasing and the relinquishing and the requestings now. Okay. Let's see what the guardian angels have to say. So this is actually, so this is 18. Again, we talk about 1 and 10. We also, 8 is unlimited opportunities, unlimited op um, possibilities. 1 plus 8 is a 9. You've got everything you need. You've got everything you need. This is also the moon card, okay? This is the moon card, and, the, and this is your full moon. So this is a very strong message for my Leos. Intuition and insight. Your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now. The only thing that's going to stop you is fear. Whatever, whatever, wherever you're being led to do, the only thing is fear, and the fear is your ego. The fear is something that you have manifested, okay? So, so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others, and don't allow, wow, this is all about fear. Don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. Again, this is the moon card. This is the moon card. So let's read that again because there's a lot of fear going on. These are fear. And, you know, and the divine is saying, you've got, you've got, you've got what you need to do. You stop. I don't want you to be afraid. I don't want you to be afraid, my Leos. So let's do it one more time. Intuition and insight. Your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now, so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others, and don't allow, and that even means me too, and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. So sometimes, my Leos, you're given, you know, you're kind of, you know, 
God, source, higher power gives you the, it gives you some things. It doesn't mean you always have to share. I know in the, you know, more so when I was younger, you know, it would happen and I'd be like, oh, I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you. No, 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 no. Now, a lot of times you don't have to tell. And a lot of times you're being given this information so that when it comes about, you know that God, source, higher power had it in hand or has it in hand. Okay. So don't, don't, but the thing is, again, don't, fear not, be not afraid, be not afraid, my Leos, okay? Okay, so, yeah, because you're being called up. Anyway, let's go and see what my Leos, what you have, what crystal or energy is going to be important for you this week. Okay, reversed, blue calcite, this is a good one, too because it's very soothing, inner peace, universal perspective. So instead of thinking about, you know, from your own perspective, you're seeing the bigger picture, strong memory. I like that. I like that. So you've got some, you've got, you've got some major stuff going on, my Leos. Um, the biggest thing, the biggest block is fear, but Leos, you know, we do so many things because I'm a Leo too. We do so many things that it's like, I really don't want to do this. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, fine. Anyway, my Leos, take a moment, please, to like, share, subscribe. Click on that bell for notification. Let's get these videos out there. Let's increase viewership. If you could help me with that, I'd appreciate it. Most important thing, though, this is always know, my Leos, that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.